Quỳnh Phong xin kính chào quý khán giả đại truyền hình SPTN. Kính thưa quý vị, tình trạng phân biệt chủng tộc nhắm vào người Mỹ gốc Á ngày càng gia tăng trong đại dịch Covid. Vào tuần vừa qua, một vụ xả súng vào các tiệm spa tại Atlanta, Georgia đã làm chấn động bàn hoàng cho cộng đồng người Mỹ gốc Á khắp nơi tại Hoa Kỳ. Ngày hôm nay, tại công viên Discovery Springs, thành phố Houston, nhóm vận động người Mỹ gốc Á Thái Bình Dương đã tổ chức một buổi meeting để bày tỏ sự lo ngại về cuộc sống an toàn của họ sắp tới, cũng như thương tiếc chi buồn đến với các gia đình của nạn nhân trong vụ xả súng tại Georgia. And I want to be very clear to all that this we need to call this moment for truly what it is. White supremacy, anti-Asian racism, sexism, and sexual violence against Asian women. We know that for far too long this kind of violence has been long been part of our history and to also other black, indigenous, POC community. And this needs to stop. Like all of you, I am devastated angry and tired, but we cannot give up. We must continue to speak up, to fight, and to demand for change. I guess you can ask her. I need to think. Uh, like, I really hope that, um, um, like, Asians, like, will show up and that, like, we won't always be hurt and... I love my grandparents and Asian life matter. I think Asian Americans have put up with discrimination in the society for too, far too long. I am hoping that the discrimination will stop with their generation. And so I'm teaching them that it's their civic duty to come and speak up if something is not fair. So we don't perpetuate the stereotype and the, the discrimination for their generation. Um, I just don't want my girlfriend to have to live in fear. It's not a free country if you can't go outside and walk alone by yourself without being in fear. And so I want people to, you know, advocate, you know, for AAPI, you know, bring attention to the message and bring this, uh, bring their message to the attention of our politicians so that they can stand up. You know, leadership, making statements does influence people and whoever who is in charge matters when they're making those statements. And so getting your voice out and encouraging your politicians, your local politicians, your regional politicians to stand up on behalf of your community and the communities of others directly influences the actions of other people. Um, you don't want to embolden people to feel free to, you know, make acts like the one that happened in Atlanta, Georgia. And so we need to discourage that in any way possible. Thank you. You're My mom just decided to come over here to stop Asian hate and stop preventing from kills for Asian. That's why we're here. And the reason why my mom decided to come here is that in China, back she was it was back in like she it, she was like 21 at the time. She her she didn't have a lot of stuff, so she decided to move America. Hopefully, have a better life there, and we do. Uh, white silence equals white violence. White people must stand up for everyone. Um, I'm terribly sorry for what's happened to the Asian community, and we will continue to fight the racism in America. Senseless, you know, we're all, we all deserve to be here, so we should all continue fighting together. So we're always stronger in numbers. I just want to say that I'm here to support solidarity for all of my Asian sisters, my brothers, and their families, because we are one. And Asian lives matter, all lives of color matter, all lives in general matter, but today, right now, we are strengthening the importance of Asian lives and against all hate crimes against Asians. That's why we're here. Yes, I, I, I'm just out of words for the outpouring support, and, and I just love them. It's okay. Thank you. It's okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Xin cảm ơn quý vị đã theo dõi phần phóng sự ngắn ngày hôm nay. Quỳnh Phong, chương trình từ Houston, Texas. Xin kính chào quý vị.